Hello guys, Reagan here for Reagan's Rides and in this video, we take a first crack at Hyundai's newest MPV, the Stargazer. Let's do this. If the US has minivans, Asians have MPVs. MPVs or multi-purpose vehicles are like smaller minivans with seven seats, which makes it more suited for Asian roads. It's one of the most lucrative vehicle segments in the region, which explains why Hyundai has finally decided to join the MPV arena. The Hyundai Stargazer we have here is fresh from the oven since it only launched in Indonesia last August 2022. That makes the Philippines one of the first markets to receive this futuristic-looking MPV. But just how well-equipped is the Philippine-spec Hyundai Stargazer? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. All right, guys, we're here on location at South Forbes, Miami, where we'll take a first look at Hyundai's newest MPV, the Stargazer. Now, what we have here is the top spec trim, the GLS Premium, and we do know that Hyundai Philippines is bringing in three variants of this MPV. However, we still don't have the retail price of this vehicle yet, being one of the few yeah, people who gets to have a first crack at this MPV. However, guys, well, I do have the, the final specs and features of the Hyundai Stargazer, which I will share with you in this video. Now, as you can see, the front fascia of the Stargazer has a resemblance to its bigger brother, the Hyundai Staria. However, I am detecting some hints of the Mitsubishi Expander here, uh, maybe because of the placements of the full LED headlight units, or perhaps this side garnish here on the sides of the front grille that kind of looks like a dynamic shield. But anyway, guys, uh, this is still a bold and futuristic look and it's complemented by a full LED light strip found here up top. The side profile has that rounded and organic silhouette that is balanced off by the sharp creases that can be found on the body panels. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I am liking this look. You see, the Stargazer is striking enough that it will turn heads while you're driving on the road, which says a lot about an MPV. Now, while I love the overall design and side silhouette of this vehicle, well, I'm not really a big fan of the wheel design. You see, we get 16 inches here, and uh, yeah, the wheel design is a little bit on the chunky side. Well, too chunky for my taste. Now, as for the mechanical bits, well, they are also expectedly on the budget meal side, uh, as expected from an MPV. Uh, we have ventilated disc brakes up front, drum brakes at the back, and for the suspension, we have a Mac version setup in the front and a torsion beam at the back. Now, as for the ground clearance, well, it stands at 185 millimeters, which, if you think about it, is a bit on the low side for an MPV. Now, I have to give credit to the Hyundai designers for giving us this rear end. I mean, dude, look at that. This is as futuristic looking as the Stargazer name. Now, we do have full LED taillight units here, plus an LED light strip down the center, which complements the one found up front. Now, when you pop open this manual liftgate, you'll notice that with the third row seats deployed, we still have around 200 liters of cargo capacity, which is good enough for one medium-sized luggage. Now, the great news here, guys, is underneath the floor of this area, well, we still have a ton of cargo space for smaller items. Now, if you need more space than 200 liters, you can always tumble down the third row seats. And when you do that, you'll now have 585 liters of cargo capacity, which is good enough for one, two, three, four medium-sized luggage. Now, if ever you're wondering where the spare tire is, 
Well, just like any MPV, it can be found underneath the car. Powering the Stargazer is a 1.5-liter, four-cylinder, naturally aspirated, smart stream gasoline engine uh, that is good for 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque. Power is sent to the front wheels via an IVT transmission, which is Hyundai speak for a CVT. So how does it perform on the road? Well, guys, stick around until the end of this video where I will share with you my initial driving impressions. The cockpit design of the Stargazer is uh, pretty similar to the bigger brother, the Hyundai Staria, in the sense that it is uh, futuristic yet also a bit on the minimalist side. Now this uh, top spec uh, GLS Premium gets faux leather seats here and we also have a faux leather wrapped steering wheel that adjusts for tilt and telescoping. Now you'll see that we also have a fully digital instrument gauge cluster there that uh, changes in color depending on the drive mode you're in. Uh, the Stargazer GLS Premium gets uh, four drive modes. We got an Eco, a Normal, a Sport, and a Smart mode. However, guys, uh, there is one area here that I'm not really a big fan of, and that would be the frame of the digital instrument gauge cluster. You see, this, my friends, is such a chunky and plasticky looking frame, and uh, I, I do believe that they could have just made this a little bit slimmer, and it would have looked so much better, at least in my opinion. Now, when you move over to the infotainment system, well, we have an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the image of a reverse camera. Now, as for the safety bits, guys, well, you're in for a good surprise because this top-spec Stargazer GLS Premium gets the following safety features and driver assist aids. In fact, guys, uh, if, if we only had adaptive cruise control here, then this would have been absolutely perfect. But even as it is, dude, the Stargazer is already well ahead of the pack. Now, other bits and pieces here include a manual climate control system. And I'm happy to see that we also have a wireless charge pad for the top trim variant. And uh, we also have a manual handbrake here, a bit of a bummer, because I would have wanted to see, well, an electronic park brake with an auto hold feature. Uh, but considering we have drum brakes at the back, yeah, so it's still a manual handbrake here and a couple of cup holders which I will subject to my 600ml clean canteen test. So as you can see, the Hyundai Stargazer easily passes my clean canteen test. So it has nice and uh, spacious cup holders here. Now, as for the storage um, cubbies of the Stargazer, well, this MPV can really deliver. You see, we have a nice indentation here on the passenger side dashboard where you can park some stuff. And you also have a shelf here on the middle dashboard underneath the AC vents where you can park more stuff. And if you want to hide some smaller items or valuables from prying eyes, well, guys, we also have a secret cubby here. As you can see there on the passenger side, the front passenger side, and that's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's deep enough to fit a, a smartphone. You can put a smartphone there. And uh, voila, anybody who's peering inside your Stargazer won't see that you have a smartphone uh, tucked inside there. Now, uh, as for the cabin materials, guys, as expected from an MPV, we are surrounded by hard touch plastics all around, uh, but at least we get different kinds of textures here and there to make it a little bit more interesting. The second row seats of the Hyundai Stargazer has a car-like feel to it because I feel like I'm seated quite low inside the car and it's uh, well enhanced by the fact that we have a pretty tall belt line here for the windows. Now, as for the uh, absolute space, guys, I'm five foot six. As you can see, I got like like over ten to twelve inches of headroom here, and uh, around six seven inches of knee room, which is already expected from an MPV. Now, if I'm feeling generous, I could slide my seat forward a little bit, which will yeah, shorten my knee space, but it will give some much needed leg room to the third row passengers. 
And as for the amenities, well, the top spec Stargazer GLS Premium has a row of ceiling mounted AC vents there, just like any MPV. We also have a couple of uh, USB charge ports here. Uh, we have a yeah, a center armrest that doesn't have any cup holders because you have a pair of massive cup holders uh, on the door panels, which makes my 600ml clean canteen yeah, look like a tiny tumbler right there. And uh, oh yes, uh, this top spec uh, GLS Premium also comes with a tray table here on the right passenger side where you can put a small yeah, cup there and uh, also your uh, yeah your favorite burger and fries uh, from the nearest drive through Whew, the weather here at uh, south forbes miami feels like miami but well guys what can you expect we live in a tropical country now anyway guys i'm now here in the third row seats of the hyundai stargazer and just like any mpv the third row seats are quite usable you see, I am five foot six, guys, and uh, yes, I do get a good amount of space here at the third row. We have an inch worth of knee room left, and we have around three inches of headroom. Now, uh, in terms of comfort, well, we do have the row of uh, ceiling mounted AC vents there, so that should keep me cool if the Hyundai Stargazer is turned on, but it's not right now. And aside from that, we also have a couple of cup holders here, a 12 volt outlet on the on the right side of the car and some cubbies for your smartphones and some knickknacks. All right, guys, so we're now driving the Hyundai Stargazer for the very first time and first up, steering feel. I mean, I am blown away by the steering feel of this vehicle because I would expect that being an MPV, that it will have a, you know, a light and overboosted steering feel. But guys, I'm not getting that in the Hyundai Stargazer. You see, we have a good balance of heft and the, yeah, and the power assistance here on the steering wheel. It's quite perfect, in fact. And when it comes to the steering response, as you can see, it's quite sharp, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a pleasant surprise uh, for an MPV. Now, as for the visibility, well, uh, we do have a bit of a compromised forward visibility here. You see, the, the Stargazer is one of the more beautiful looking MPVs in the category, but that uh, futuristic design and that beautiful shape uh, also comes at a cost. You see, we have uh, a steeply rigged back windshield here, so forward visibility is not as expansive as what you'd expect from an MPV. Uh, still, guys, I've been driving this for several minutes now, and uh, yes, it's something that you can get used to, uh, but if you want to have like uh, an expansive uh, front visibility here, well, it's not something that the Stargazer can give. Now, luckily though, the sideways visibility is uh, quite decent. We have a good and large uh, set of front windows here. So yeah, at least we have that. All right, guys, uh, in terms of acceleration, we have a nice and empty straight road in, in front of us. So let's give it a try. We're on sport mode right now. Let's do this. All right, since the Stargazer is equipped with a with an IVT transmission or a CVT, then that means that it behaves uh, like a vehicle that has a CVT transmission, which means that if you stomp on the throttle pedal, it's going to give you a lot of loud engine noises, uh, yes, uh, but it doesn't really translate immediately into speed. But on, a, yeah, on sport mode, it does build up speed quite nicely for an MPV, Although I cannot say that it will give you a really engaging drive. Still, it's decent enough to haul yeah, a, f <laughs> a full load of passengers and cargo. And I'm pretty sure that this vehicle can negotiate steep inclines, ramps, and roads uh, with ease. Especially when you put it on sport mode. Now thankfully though, in terms of overall driving comfort, well, the Stargazer delivers. You see guys, this 
doesn't feel like an MPV to drive. I I'm quite surprised because it doesn't even feel like I'm driving a crossover, an SUV. You know, the feeling I'm getting here is it feels like I'm driving a sedan of all things. It doesn't feel too big. It doesn't feel too, you know, too unwieldy to drive. And it feels, yeah, it feels light. Despite that perfectly balanced heft on the steering wheel, it feels light to drive. It feels nimble on its feet. And I feel like I'm just piloting a sedan. In terms of uh, cabin comfort, the air conditioning is cold. The suspension is also pretty good. So yes, gentlemen and ladies, it looks like Hyundai has another bestseller in their hands with the Hyundai Stargazer. The Hyundai Stargazer is a promising MPV offering that elevates the MPV driving experience to a class above its peers. With class-leading safety features, and a futuristic-looking design, the Hyundai Stargazer not only lives up to its name, it fully embodies it. Thanks for watching.